So we are currently standing in our living room of the 1902 farmhouse. Only downside is the ceilings, ceilings are a little bit low. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a little bit of a, you know, exploration <laughs> yeah. of the ceiling to see what's going on up there to yeah. see if we can raise the ceiling. Josh has already been crawling all through the attic and it's looking good. Otherwise we wouldn't just be cutting holes in our ceiling. Yeah, yeah unless I... we're gonna redo the ceiling, I guess. But yeah. what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the drywall in between these beams, get a better look on what kind of engineering is done up Structurally, there. Structurally, see if it's even possible but we're pretty confident that we can we can raise them up. Yeah, so... Uh, so that's gonna make it so much more open and wide and just make this space so much more inviting to come in here. Because how tall are the ceilings now? About seven and a half feet? Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, about seven. Josh can seven. easily touch the ceilings and I can easily touch the beams. So. And then there's actually a section over there there's where it's six foot down. eight. Yeah. Which is pretty low. That's pretty low. Yeah, a so, little claustrophobic. So. It makes it so there's actually an original 1902 fireplace that's right over there um, in the drop down area. And it's really, really difficult to enjoy that area properly because the ceilings are just so low. So we're yeah. going to raise that up, make it a lot more grand. So I'm super excited. So let's do some exploration. I'm yeah. going to get my, my gear on, some safety gear, and start yeah. cutting, cutting out the well, trouble. We, and we just found out that our floors are shipping today or tomorrow. So we oh, want to yeah. go ahead and get this done quick so that we can start doing flooring. Super excited. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So we came outside to get some fresh air after that. Yeah, it's super dusty in there. Yeah, super dusty, tons of wires hanging down, um, but the ceilings are cut out. And I just kind of wanted to specify that this can't happen in every house. This is kind of a freak situation, honestly, because um, when I was up into uh, the attic and stuff, I found out, actually from a previous owner too, they told me that they'd cut the top story of the house off, two-story house, and, and rebuilt. a second story on yeah, it, pretty rebuilt much. rebuilt a second story on top, re-engineered the house. Mm -hmm. But when they did that, they didn't take out the, uh, the, old ceilings. the old ceilings. So some of the old ceilings were just kind of, um, you know, both useless. <laughs> not doing anything. They're not supporting yeah. the second floor at all. They were actually just supporting themselves. They had rafters in the ceilings and they left the bottom part of the rafter but cut the top part off and then put engineered trusses over top that spanned from wall to wall and had no weight on the old ceilings, uh, just on the exterior walls. So it's a bit of a um, very specific situation, honestly. Yeah. So if you actually are going to raise your ceilings, you're going to want to talk to a contractor and look at what what has to actually happened with that. We got lucky where we really didn't have to do that much, yeah. actually. Especially in a two-story house, that is really rare to have something like that because yeah. normally you'd have to raise the whole second story to be able to raise it up like that. Yeah, it was did. pretty much a drop-down ceiling, which yeah. is kind of interesting. But yep. it worked out really well in this situation. We had mm -hmm. to, we're going to have to move some air duct and move some electrical, and we're going to hire that out, obviously, because you don't mess with electrical. It's dangerous. Yep. And HVAC... Um, you could probably do HVAC yourself, I don't know, but... Uh, it's not something we want to do. Not something that we want to want to get into. But thanks for watching, and uh, don't go cut your ceiling out just because of this video. <laughs> yeah, but, but stay tuned for the finished product because yeah. it's coming along quick, so I can't wait to show everything else to you guys. All right. Yeah. Jolo Vlogs, out.